Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the gun room. This video is long awaited and I'm very excited to bring it to you. So let's go ahead and get started. A little bit of background. We outgrew our old house as we're expecting our third child at the end of June. So we needed something with a little bit more room. So we got to house shopping and maybe the worst time in history. Everything that came on the market sold quickly for more than asking. So it's a miracle that we actually ended up finding anything at all let alone something that checked most of the boxes that we had going into it. I explained to my wife during the home buying process that not only had we outgrown the old house, but I've outgrown my safes. I've been storing things and stacking things in so many different ways that I'm just tired of it. So during the home buying process, I was sure to keep my eyes peeled for where I could put things and you know possible new areas for safes, new safes, for the crown jewel, maybe even a place to finally build a gun room. So the house that we finally did end up going with is pretty awesome. Nice big open floor plan, adequate bedrooms for the little ones, and meets all the wants that we had going into the home buying process, but one. One major thing this house does not have is a basement, and that sucks. That's the one thing that I was kind of looking for, and that was kind of the, the blueprint foundation of what I wanted to do, because I figured a, a basement's a bunch of wasted storage space for the most part anyway, and I have all sorts of real estate to build something that I wanted. But the house is on a crawl space, so that went right out the window. Now, as far as crawl spaces go, it's pretty nice. It's a waterproof lined crawl space with a sump pump, but I'm not going to be storing guns down there. I'm not going to be crawling down there like John Wayne Gacy. That's not going to happen. So I had to get a little bit more creative. So the next thing I thought of is, well, I got a nice two and a half car garage with an attached workshop addition on the back, but that quickly was decided against because it's not climate controlled. Living in Michigan and having such bipolar weather, I figured that's probably going to be way more trouble than it's worth. So I'll have to find a spot inside somewhere. Pro tip, having an open floor plan in a house is awesome. But what you don't think about is how much that sucks when you're trying to find a spot to put safes or build something as it completely defeats the purpose of that floor plan being open. So you got a house with all these nice bedrooms and after deciding what kid gets what room, you get stuck with the unfinished room. So my stuff got stored up there. For the time being until a more permanent solution was found but thankfully the answer to that problem turned out to be hiding in plain sight in that very room after a little theory crafting and sketching i decided what the hell let's just go for it that room was unfinished at the time of sale anyway so i had to work on it at some point right i figured i'd just kill two birds with one stone i'd have a more permanent place for the guns and ultimately i'd finish that bedroom at the same time i mean we're getting pretty sick of camping out in our daughter's room anyway so I decided to take a section of that bedroom and essentially just frame a second closet. Which turned out to be easier than expected. Most of the decision making was kind of set in stone due to where the windows are. It could really only go in the spot it's in, so I just kind of ran with it. Ultimately, the room's going to end up just shy of 4x10, which isn't too shabby. I can make that work for sure. So everything was going well. The wall went up. I slapped on a door. I added a code lock to keep the kiddos out. I decided to line the inside with slat wall. I then thought about mounting systems and uh, I just decided to go with Secure It. I picked up a bunch of their mounts for the gun wall and I was making pretty good progress. I was happy with how everything was going. I decided to run some electrical as I knew there'd be no light on the inside of this room when it was all done. All the receptacles and the ceiling lights sit on the other side of the wall. So I pulled up a section of the subfloor closest to the wall to tie into the electric and my progress was suddenly halted. The framework of this room's floor was in need of some major work. These floor joists were twisting and bowing so bad that I just couldn't ignore it. I knew the room needed some floor repair, but I had no idea how bad it really was until I started ripping it all up. So unless we wanted to wake up in the kitchen one morning, uh, the floor was pulled and the wall I had just put up had to come back down. So over the next following few weeks after work and on the weekends, I slowly began straightening the joists back out, sistering and adding blockers and securing everything together. I even ended up reworking some plumbing and venting that was in the floor and then uh, finally ran the electrical to the room I knew I was building after and I finally capped it all with some new subfloor on top. All in all, the room is now much stronger structurally and I can in good conscience continue with my original mission. So at last, the wall finally went up and the door was installed. The door jam was then trimmed down flush with the framework because I decided that this door was going to be a hidden door and it would sit recessed in the wall with something in front of it to gain access. I thought about a bunch of ways to cover it up, maybe a bookshelf, accent wall that opens there or something, but ultimately I kept coming back to the mirror idea. So I decided it'll be a mirror. So I took measurements of the door and frame and found a mirror that would work. 
I went with a larger wall-mounted mirror with a wooden frame that would turn out to be important later when securing something to it. And then I just had to decide whether I wanted it to swing or slide open. I decided sliding would work better as the door is already going to be swinging in and I didn't want two things to be swinging. So I figured sliding would probably work out better. Um, I ended up picking up some heavy duty drawer slides that would fit attached behind the mirror flush so they wouldn't be seen when it was mounted on the wall. I also finished installing a missing slat board panel in the corner and then I got to work on the drywall. I added a footer in front of the base of the door to help with the illusion so it looks like it goes from floor to ceiling. And while the mud was drying, I started putting guns on the walls and playing with different layouts. And this was actually starting to feel like a legitimate gun room. I was pretty psyched. I stole the shoe organizer, figuring it would probably work out pretty good as magazine storage. Then I stubbed in the electrical on the inside of that new room and decided on doing a reclaimed wood-style accent wall instead of just doing drywall. And I'm so happy that I did that because I think it ended up looking pretty awesome. I mounted a light, trimmed up the inside of that room, and then I painted all the trim work black. Now at this point, I think it's important to stress that this room is not meant to be a fortress. I'm opting for the security protection aspect by it being a completely hidden space. Now, if someone were to break in the house anyways, they wouldn't get far, as either me or my wife would just shoot them. She's a stay-at-home mom, and I don't go out a whole lot besides work, so somebody's usually home. In the rare case that we're both not home, I doubt most thieves would even bother to look for a room they don't know exists. No thief is breaking into a house trying to solve a Scooby-Doo mystery by moving mirrors and looking behind picture frames. They're going to be looking for valuables in places that valuables are normally at. They're going to look there, and they're going to leave. Because the longer they're there, the higher chances that they're going to get caught. And that goes without saying that in today's day and age, the average person has cameras all around their property, myself included. I also have a dog, and like I said, somebody's normally home. So if somebody's not supposed to be in or around my house, I'll probably know about it pretty quick. And as far as the code lock goes, that's purely just there to keep the kids out and anybody I let know that room is there out. Anyways, next we picked out a color that we'd want to paint the bedroom and I got to work on painting both the bedroom and the gun room in that color. I then added trim to the base of the new wall to match the trim that was already in that bedroom and then when all that paint was dry, I replaced the receptacle and switch covers, I mounted the mirror to the drawer slides and I hung everything in place. After a little adjustment, Everything was mounted securely, and it opened smoothly, covering the door completely. I couldn't believe how well the illusion worked at this point. It was all starting to really come together, and I was ecstatic. Next, I picked up some carpet remnants that would work well with both rooms. I laid them out and cut them into fit. Then, it all finally became home sweet home. I added the homey touches. I hung the curtains, I moved the bed in, I bought and mounted a TV, and I added some decorative canvases that I liked. I think it's all done enough to show you all now. I'm not completely done, as I would still like to replace the bedroom door, the bifold closet doors. I'd still like to build a 2x12 shelf that runs the entire wall on the inside of the gun room where the ammo cans are currently sitting. Um, that's kind of why that carpet's cut a little short along that side, because I didn't care, because I'm going to be building a shelf on the bottom there at some point anyway. But there's always time in the future for that, as this whole project's been kind of an undertaking. And with that, I'm proud to introduce, for the first time, a tour of Gun Room Version 1. Enjoy.
Tomorrow day.